everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley Elise. For those of you who are new here, for those of you who are returning, thanks so much for coming back. Today's video, Novali is here with me and we are going to give you guys her five month update. She is just a couple days away from being five months. She'll be actually five months on Friday the 24th. Um, she is growing like crazy she's such a long baby and she is very mesmerized by the puppies playing right now so if you guys hear them in the background that's what's going on but I thought we would just take a few minutes to update you guys on just Novali how she's doing what her likes and dislikes are and we'll just kind of go from there so to start off um, clearly she is mesmerized by the dogs. She loves watching them run around chasing each other and playing with their toys. They are just very entertaining for her. Um, Lily Pup doesn't really seem to have much of an interest at all in Novali right now. Um, I think she's got a lot of jealousy going on because she was mommy's little baby before Novali came. So I think she's still kind of dealing with that jealousy though she is coming around. And then Evie, the one we actually worried about the most when I found out I was pregnant um, with her being aggressive, she actually has taken quite a liking to Novali. She loves to come over and lick her and give her all sorts of kisses whenever she's playing on the floor or doing tummy time, anything like that. That was a big surprise for us. We were not expecting that, but they actually have become quite smitten with each other. Novali really loves that Evie will get close enough that she can, you know, kind of try and grab at the dog. And surprisingly, with her being aggressive, she has yet to um, try and even bite Novali, which has been shocking. Granted, whenever when whenever Evie is around Novali, either my husband or myself is right there because we want to make sure that nothing happens because that's just kind of an accident waiting to happen. Evie's very unpredictable and we don't want anything to happen to Novali. This little five months old, right now her favorite thing to do is stand and just kind of move her legs, which is what she's doing right now on me. She is incredibly clingy with me. Um, she just wants to be with mom all the time, 100% of the time. She doesn't want to be put down, which makes chores for me very difficult. But at the same time, I also, love that she wants to be with mommy so much of the time. I mean, we just have a really deep connection, I think, and like I said, it does make me have a difficult time getting anything done around the house or even taking a shower or anything like that. So whenever I need to get things done, I just put her down for a nap. Usually she um, is awake for about two hours at a time and then she's ready for a nap. And right now she's kind of going through this phase where she's only sleeping between 30 to 45 minutes in a napping period. And she's only, I don't know, doing maybe two or three of those a day. For some reason, she's just kind of on a sleeping strike right now. I don't know why. It could be because she's going through a growth spurt. Yeah, is that it? I'm not really sure, but she just isn't sleeping well. She is doing much better sleeping at night. Um, we switched her over from breastfeeding to strictly formula and it has made a world of difference. She is so much happier. She goes longer in between feedings now. Typically she'll be anywhere between two to three hours during the day between feedings and she basically sleeps through the night at this point. Um, usually at night the shortest amount of time that she'll sleep is like five hours. And then she's gone all the way up to nine and a half at this point. So it just really depends. Right now, like I said, I'm pretty sure she's going through like a growth spurt or something because she's waking up more often throughout the night. So she's more around that five hour mark. Last night, I think she did like a five and a half hour and then she did like a three and a half hour. Um, so we're just kind of adjusting to all of that. She, like I said, has been on formula. I think she's been on formula for about a month now and she's doing really, really well on it. We started with doing half and half where we would mix half formula, half breast milk. And at first she didn't mind that. And we did that so that we could kind of help her stomach adjust to it. But then after a little bit of time, she decided that she didn't like the half and half and that she just wanted straight breast milk. And that's, I mean, straight formula. And that's the only way she would drink it. 
So we ended up switching her over at that point and now she drinks just the formula. She loves it. She doesn't mind it at all. At first she kind of fought us, not only on the bottle portion, but just on the formula in general because she just wanted to be breastfed. But it was really best for both of us that we ended up switching over. And like I said, she's doing really well now. Look at this chunker. She's about 12 pounds. We go in for our next appointment. Um, we already did her four month and she doesn't have another appointment until her six month. But at her four month, the doctor said she's looking great. She's healthy. She's at a good weight. Um, all 12 pounds of her. She's probably a little over 12 pounds now actually. But she's doing very, very well, aren't you? Yeah. She is talking a lot. She doesn't have any words formed or anything like that right now. Um, my parents and my husband are pretty sure that she said mama a couple of times, but I'm not totally convinced because she really likes to make noises with just going mm -hmm. So I don't really know that that's mama, but she does seem to do that when she wants my attention. So I think she's getting really, really, really close to being able to say mama. Huh. Huh, chinky monkey. Huh. She still loves her pacifiers. She is chewing on everything and drooling all the time, which is why she's got a bib on. She pretty much lives in bibs right now because she just drools so much. She is definitely going through teething. No teeth have popped through yet, uh, but the other day she was actually chewing on my hand because sometimes teething toys just aren't enough. So she was chewing on my hand and I stuck my finger in there and I was feeling around on her gums and she's got a bunch of like bumps. She's getting close. She's definitely making some progress. We are slowly making progress on getting her to kind of be a little more trusting with people, I guess you could say. For the longest time, she wouldn't let anybody hold her but myself. And now we're finally getting to the point where she will let my mom hold her again. She'll let my dad hold her on occasion. She'll let my husband hold her and occasionally my mother-in-law. So we're coming back around and I'm really excited about that because I hate my baby screaming every time I need to go do something and I have somebody watch her. But she's doing so much better with that, aren't you baby? Her hair is finally starting to come in. It's not super long right now. Um, but it's definitely coming in and right now it's actually coming in a pretty dark brown So I think she's gonna end up having dark brown hair like her dad and her eyes are still blue Which I think I had heard that baby's eyes color can change up to like six months And hers have stayed blue the whole time. They haven't even gotten like super dark or anything So we're pretty sure that they're gonna stay blue. What do you think? Huh? Do you see the puppy's toy? Is, are your eyes gonna stay blue? Yeah. She right now is super ticklish, especially around her ribs, under her chin, and underneath her arms. Not like in her armpits, but just like the under part of her arms. So she loves to be tickled. She actually really enjoys it. She's trying really hard to work on sitting up. She can't do it on her own right now, but she loves when I will lay her down on her back and then I help her up to sitting position and then she'll stand up. And that's like her favorite thing to do right now. She can roll over from her stomach to her back, but she cannot yet roll over from her back to her stomach, though she is really close. The other day, she actually had rolled over onto her side, but she couldn't get herself all the way over. So that's still very much a work in progress. The other day, I actually was having my Bible time while she was having her tummy time on the floor. And I looked up from reading and noticed that she had her legs up under her, like both legs up under her, like she was gonna try and crawl. She, I don't think she has the arm strength just yet. I think she's still trying to figure out how to go about doing that but I think she's gonna be very mobile here soon. She's already kind of scooting herself. Not very far right now. For the most part, she seems to be able to do it in like a circle, but she hasn't made it distance-wise very far yet right now. So I think, like I said, I think she's gonna be pretty mobile here coming up. We're actually gonna work on getting her a little walker because, yeah, are you gonna talk? Because right now she very much so wants to just be around me all the time. 
and I think that would really help her. So her pediatrician actually at our last appointment said that we could go ahead and try giving her some solids at this point. Um, so we went ahead and tried some, well, I think it was sweet potato is what we tried and she loved it. She, I think is definitely gonna be a foodie. She's so interested in food watching people eat it, how they eat it, looking at the food and just really like observing it. So I think she's definitely going to be a foodie. Right now it's not, she's not having food as like a, really a source of nutrition so to speak. Really she just kind of has it as, for like fun so she can get used to it. Yeah? Yeah? Would you like to tell everybody something? What do you have to say? Huh? What? Go ahead. Tell them. Tell them everything. I love you. Her new thing right now has been um, she's really figuring out how to use her hands, and just in the last couple of weeks, she started putting her hands on my face. Oh my gosh! Cutest thing ever. I absolutely love it. She. And she, most of the time she's not like pinching or like grabbing, she's literally just putting her hands on my face and just like talking to me. And I think it's the cutest uh, thing ever. Mmm. Uh, Are those yummy fingers? Yeah, they delicious fingers. Uh, uh. Yeah. Anyway, I just think it's the cutest thing. I love that she does that. Every once in a while she will like grab a face full or a fistful of face, I guess is what I'm trying to say. She is still currently sleeping with her swaddle in her... Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, with her swaddle, we actually just had to... Yeah. We just had to buy a new Halo sleep sack because she officially outgrew... Outgrew the zero to three month swaddle that we had for her when we got her home. So we went ahead and just purchased another one, which is a little bit too big for her right now. We are still calling her Houdini because she loves to wiggle her way out of that thing with getting her hands up at her face. And I know that a lot of times people are like, oh, well, when they start doing that, then you just leave their hands out or, you know, put their hands up by their face or whatever. But I can't do that with her because. She is her own worst enemy with her hands. She will constantly pull out her pacifier or like pinch herself on her face while she's uh, trying to sleep. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. Isn't that so? So we have to keep her arms swaddled and if that, if she, you know, gets her arms up, we have to make sure that she at least can't get her fingers out to grab at her pacifier or her face. Huh. She also has been noticing herself in the mirror. We have our little bottle warmer currently in the bathroom. Yeah. So every time, every time we go to warm up a bottle or to make a bottle, she will just kind of stare at herself in the mirror. And sometimes she'll smile at herself. She seems quite mesmerized with it right now. She still loves music and dancing and just moving around and being busy. She is not. Yeah, you tell them all about yourself. What am I doing? Huh, say I know myself better. Huh, go ahead. Right there, say it to the camera, tell them. Go ahead, tell them everything. That's it? Yeah? Yeah. Anyways, that is probably going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed a little Novali appearance and update. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this week's video. I appreciate and love all of you guys and the little family that we, yeah, you too, and the little family that we have already created. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe. 
yeah <laughs> please subscribe that's the red letters down below that says subscribe click on that and subscribe to our channel also be sure to turn on your notification bell it's the little bell also down below and that will notify you every time I post a new video right now I'm posting every Monday and Thursday hopefully through the rest of the year of 2020 Say, head over to Instagram and follow us there the information will be down in the box below give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys on let's see Monday for our next video wow the week goes by so fast bye guys um,